What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name's Grizz. We're in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies today, and these are all the working glitches in Season 5. There are three main glitches that still work, and I'll also be showing you the best Tier 3 Red Zone camping spots. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers, so be sure to subscribe for more glitches in this glitch series. And activate that bell notification, man. If you want to level up fast in Zombies. And if you can, comment down below what's your current level in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I'm currently Prestige 5, level 257, and still grinding. Okay, first up, we have the Secret Vault Glitch. We're going to be in the Shahin Manor building, located in the lower right corner of the map. You're going to make your way down and rappel down into the basement area, and you're going to need a dog bone for this. Now, there are other ways of doing this that are more complicated with the Scorcher, but uh, we're going to use a dog bone. You're going to lead the dog in front of the door. You need him to be directly in front of the door, so when you face inward towards the dog to pet him, you go through the wall. What we're doing is phasing through the door. You can do this anywhere on the map, but you got to be positioned correctly, directly right behind, sandwich yourself right between the door and the dog. Um, if you get stuck in the wall, you may need to summon another dog, or the blood burner key is very useful here. You can actually put that inside and uh, ride it to get back inside of the secret room. But there's a lot of good loot in here. One of the ether crates actually spawns a mimic, so I would recommend having a tier 1 pack-a-punch before you attempt this glitch. But it's well worth it. You're going to get a huge jump at the beginning of the game, which includes two gold bars. They're worth 3500 a piece, and so that's a lot of lettuce to get right at the beginning of the game. Next up is the Tombstone Duplication Glitch. First thing we're going to do is pick up Tombstone Soda. It costs 1400 zombie points, and it's really easy to get. Just locate it on your mini-map, find it, pick it up, and you're going to want to fill your rucksack up with everything you want to duplicate. So we're going to head to the area where all the magic happens. You need the Act 4 story mission called Bag Signal. This is the location of it. We're going to be focused in the building right south of it. And so we're going to head in quick and uh, prepare everything. Now, this is the code you're going to type in order. There's a secret teleporter up here. And it just uh, appears right when you come up to it. So shoot at these um, symbols, all three of them in order that you're seeing me shoot at. And it's going to allow you to buy the portal for 1,000 points. We're going to do that. Make sure you drop your secondary weapon so you can run faster. We're going to activate the Dark Ether Rift. And uh, drop all your self revives. That's only going to get in the way. And if you got a decoy grenade, chuck that. But you make your way up to the portal at about 10 seconds is what, where you usually hit it at. Uh, make your way to the left side here and uh, get ready to pull up your mini map and vote yes at two or one seconds. All right. Once vote successful, it's going to count down. And at six seconds, you're going to the out of the bounds area. And it's going to count down. And what you want to see is an elimination happen so we're waiting for the elimination to pop up and that's how we know we did it successfully and as soon as in the upper right it says searching go ahead and quit the application close the app restart the game when you get back into zombies and your rucksack will be all the items that we are duplicating and it's only going to get better from here so put better stuff in your rucksack so you can fill it up even more. And when we do it a second time, the rucksack will be better the next time we get in. And it'll add all the extra cash that you've collected along the way. So first thing we do is uh, pick up Tombstone. Um, I had a Tombstone can inside this game here. But you got to crush the Tombstone. It's very important. Do not leave your Tombstone just sitting there. It's going to screw this up. We type the code in. We go through the portal. It starts counting down. Um, we're going to need to pull up our mini map and vote yes at one second, two seconds. It's going to count down from ten. Um, at six seconds, we go to the out of bounds area. And this is now the second time we're in, so we got better loot this time. You'll see the teleporter taking us to the dark ether. Then an elimination will pop up. It means we did it correctly. In the upper right corner, it's going to be searching. That's when we can close the application. Start that sucker back up, and in your rucksack will be all the new gear that we've been trying to duplicate. And this is the duplication glitch. You can do this over and over again until you get what you want in your rucksack. Next up, we have the Pack-a-Punch 4 Wonder Weapon glitch. You're gonna need to pick up a Mercenary Stronghold key card at uh, Tier 1 Buy Station. It's 2,000 zombie points. 
Then we're going to unlock a mercenary stronghold and clear it. You do have to clear it. It takes a little bit, but assault rifles, any basic assault rifle, not even pack-a-punched, takes these out with headshots really easy. So once you clear that sucker, you're going to have a safe up here. In your controller settings, you'll need to change your interact reload behavior to prioritize interact. What we're going to do now is chuck a Molotov cocktail, it's your grenade, right at the ground, and it's going to burn you down. When your health is at 50%, you're going to tap reload, and what that's going to do is activate the safe. But you're going to use a self-revive here to revive, and what this did is it created a mule kick weapon slot for you. It has nothing in it, so we ha now have three weapon slots. And this was the point of doing this. Now, we have a VR-11 weapon case. You can actually do this with any Wonder Weapon case. Um, and that's going to go in our third slot. Your primary weapon is any contraband weapon that you choose. And your secondary weapon has to be your insured weapon. So any of your insured weapons, that has to be your secondary slot. We're going to use a legendary ether tool on it to pump that sucker up. For me, it's the shotgun here that you're seeing. And then we need to chuck down a juggernaut and pull out the wonder weapon so it's in our third slot right now but what this does when we pull out the uh, juggernaut while you have the wonder weapon out when the juggernaut runs out of juice right its meter goes all the way down what you'll notice is the wonder weapon replaced your secondary insured slot weapon and it's also retained the legendary ether tool so it's pumped all the way up as high as it can go above its already gold um, rarity but now we put a level 3 crystal on it and we have a PAP4 wonder weapon. This here is a mega abomination and it takes two shots. It's a two shot kill. Uh, right here we have just a disciple and uh, one to take out the shield and two to finish it. This here is a storm caller and it's a two shot kill. You can see it just takes so much damage off the boss zombie. Uh, two shots, it's done. And then we took it into the red worm. And uh, the red worm doesn't stand a chance. All you're doing is chucking decoys and firing this thing. But make sure you aim in when you shoot. Aim in first and then shoot, and you're going to get the better result. Otherwise, you might miss a lot. But aim in, shoot, and that's going to take out the red worm so fast. I know most of you probably aren't trying this solo, but if you want to attempt it solo, this is the best way. And now moving on to the red zone tier 3 spots. These are camping spots where the zombies really won't attack you. The first one we're going to look at is this tracked machine equipped with an arm and a bucket. Essentially what we're going to do is go underneath it between the tracks and right in the center of it is where we're going to be hanging out. I'm going to pop one of these ether blade cases. Um, they're going to pile up right in front of you and you can use any sort of weapon you want but the ether blade is kind of nice in this location and this is just one of the few spots that you can just hang out and chill in and not really worry about getting killed. The next one is in the same area, it's the second tower up here and you can just land right on top of it if you have the scorcher wonder weapon and uh, chill here. Zombies ain't gonna really chuck meat at you. The next one here is just south of that on this little um, building. So we're gonna head to the top of this structure here and kind of land on top of it and uh, the zombies really don't bother you from this location. It's kind of nice. The next one is over by the Wonder Fizz machine here in Tier 3. Uh, it's the building just south of it. And when you hop on top of this building, the zombies are going to chuck meat at you from a distance, but you can evade it really nicely. This is a great roof if you get caught up. The next one here is in the courtyard area of the old town, and it's right on top of the Dark Aether rift this is where you can put the elder sigils in um, right on top and then uh, on top here of the bathhouse right on top of the dome is another spot that you can chill and if you got the scorcher I mean you're gonna want to know these spots it's really good if you're rolling with the team or even if you're solo and you got the other dark ether rift here on top of the hill um, just land right on top of it and the zombies aren't gonna bother you but those are all the real safe spots here in the tier 3 red zone. And I just wanted to show them to you. And that's going to do it for this video, fellas. That's all the working glitches in Season 5. If more come along, I'll be doing solo videos like that. But primarily do a lot of glitch videos, guides, news updates, zombies content, man. So subscribe, 
for more glitches in this glitch series and activate that bell notification, man. If you want to level up fast in zombies. See you in the next one, fellas. Violent out.